to you by thesis123.com. I learn and teach online. Here's the next question, number 54. The circuit below is excited by a sinusoidal source. The value of R in ohms for which the admittance of the circuit becomes a pure conductance at all frequencies is dash. Okay, so here the question says for admittance of the circuit becoming pure conductance. Now that is possible only when the imaginary portion of the admittance is zero. So let me write that down for admittance to become pure inductance, a pure conductance, the imaginary portion of y should be equal to 0. So now let's write down the equation for the admittance y. Okay? For the terms here for each of these branches. Now we have one branch with 0 0.02 Henry and R and another branch with 100 microfarad and R. So let's first without actually uh, substituting the values of the, uh, of the capacitor and the inductor, let's just use L, C and R and try and write down an equation for Y. So let me call Z1 to be the impedance of this branch here and Z2 to be the impedance of this branch here. Since we know that Y is equal to 1 by Z, it is actually, I mean for me it is easier to write it in terms of impedance and then take the reciprocal of that and write it in terms of admittance then. So Z1 first, so here I'm going to first find out what Z1 is. So Z1 in terms of the capacitance and resistance here is R minus 1 by J omega C and Z2 is written as R plus J omega L. Now writing this in terms of Y, so Y would be the sum of 1 by Z1 plus 1 by Z2, Y would be equal to 1 by Z1 plus 1 by Z2 which would be equal to 1 divided by R minus 1 by J omega C plus 1 by R plus J omega L. Now in order to solve this, we can rationalize the denominator because we have the imaginary part J there. So if we rationalize the terms, we get y is equal to r plus 1 by j omega c divided by r square plus 1 by omega c whole square. So now since I said rationalize the denominator, now the denominator is r minus 1 by j omega c. So to rationalize it we would multiply this both numerator and denominator with r plus 1 by j omega c. So that is how we get R plus 1 by J omega C divided by R square plus 1 by omega C whole square. And then for the second term, the second term here is 1 by R plus J omega L. Now when we rationalize this, we get R minus J omega L divided by R square plus omega L whole square. Now, what I mentioned earlier that the imaginary portion of y should be equal to 0. So from this equation let us pick out only the imaginary part of it which should be equal to 0. So that would be 1 by omega c imaginary part divided by r square plus 1 by omega c whole square minus here omega l is the imaginary part divided by r square plus omega l square. So this is equal to 0. Now what we can do is bring one term to the other side and then cross multiply and make sure you have one entire equation. So let me write that down 
we will get here 1 by omega c divided by r square plus 1 by omega c whole square is equal to omega l by r square plus omega l whole square. We cross multiply. Let me write that down over here. We cross multiply to get 1 by omega c into r square plus omega l whole square is equal to omega l into r square plus 1 by omega c whole square. I'm sorry there is no space here but I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I have cross multiplied these two terms. Okay. Now once we do that we can open up the brackets on either sides and multiply it through. What you will see is that you can take r square common. Now if I take r square common here I will have 1 by omega c minus omega l is equal to next if we multiply uh, 1 by omega c with omega l whole square and here omega l with 1 by omega c whole square you will see the term l by c common. So if we take L by C common, we will have omega L minus 1 by omega C. Okay. Now what we can do is bring this on the other side and write this in terms of factors. So this would be R square minus L by C into omega L minus 1 by omega C is equal to 0. So, for the condition given in the question, R square should be equal to L by C. R square minus L by C is equal to 0. That gives us R square is equal to L by C. And that gives us root of L by C. So, this is our condition for resonance really. So, we have our values for L and C given in the circuit. So, if we substitute that what are the values given to us? We have L as 0 0.02 and C as 100 micro. Okay, so let me write that down. 0 0.02 divided by 100 into 10 power minus 6 root. Okay, so this should give us a value of 14.14 resistance. So this is the final answer here. 14.1 well I hope this has helped thank you for watching this video for future videos please click here to subscribe YouTube channel visit our site thesis123.com for free student project or research ideas and online training follow us Facebook Twitter Google Plus and Pinterest.